What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Warren, I am a banker here in London and a property investor across the UK. My goal is to live free and independently, so I'm looking for an income of 3,000 pounds per month from property. If that's what you're on to, like, subscribe, that is what my channel is all about. So welcome to the September. 2023 UK housing market update. So today guys, we're gonna focus on answering a really key question, which is will UK property crash in 2023? And are interest rates beginning to fall? Unless you've been living in a rock for the last 12 months, you're well aware of what's been happening with interest rates and mortgage rates. And guys, I've got some bad news and some good news. The good news is that mortgage rates after 14 straight rises by the Bank of England are beginning to fall in the UK. A 0.55% cut to their standard variable rate. The good news is also that we are not seeing property crashing in 2023. Yes, it is declining, but not crashing. Like the media swore on everything and anything that they owned that it would happen this year. The bad news, guys, is that we are not gonna see a return to where interest rates were prior to the budget announcement in early 2023. So not long ago, they, people thought they were gonna kind of stay very low. We're in a different world now, totally different universe. People think they're going a lot higher, and indeed they have. We're not gonna see one, two, three percent again anytime soon, guys. And I'll explain why that's actually logical and has been expected for the last 15 years in the course of this video. So it was around about this time last year, guys, where I was beating the drum about will UK property crash in 2023. News outlets were so quick and so willing, yeah, to whip up the nation into a frenzy. They were telling you that UK property is gonna crash in 2023. They were telling you that it's gonna be the worst crash that we've seen in a long, long time. They were telling you that property is over as an asset class. Landlords were gonna run for the hills. It was all doom and gloom. It was all sensationalist media coverage. And that's why I always tell you guys, when it comes to the property market, when it comes to UK housing predictions and what's gonna happen, what is happening, do not trust the media, guys. Do your own research, rely on the data. And there were a small minority of keyboard warriors, particularly in the second half to latter stages of last year, who were up in the comments, guys, just telling me that I didn't know what I was talking about. 10%, 20%, 30% crash in the housing market was definitely gonna happen this year. And funnily enough, they're nowhere to be seen now. But let's talk about what actually happened, right? Between the back end of 2022 and 2023 in the UK property market. Now, what you can see on screen right now is data from the UK land registry, right? So this is all properties bought and sold in the UK using a mortgage. So slightly different from the right move and the Halifax and the nationwide indexes which are basically the housing transactions for those specific banks. This is everything in the UK and there's a slight lag. So right now we have up until June, right? So there's a slight lag in terms of the data available. But what you can see on screen is that as of June, 2023, the average house price in the UK, 287,546 pounds. One year ago, it was 288,331 pounds. Now I'm gonna pause there and I'm not teaching you guys to suck eggs, right? But you've just seen that a year ago, basically, in rounding down prices, how the average highest price was 288,000. Today, it's at 287,000. That is a 1,000 pound difference in the average price over the last 12 months. So in pure math statistical terms, we are 0.3% down on last year. Let me say that again, 0.3% down on last year. Now, does that sound like a property crash to you? in 2023 in the UK housing market over the last 12 months. Now I predicted a slight downturn. I reckon that by the end of the year, this is June, so there's another six months to go. I reckon we'll be round about three or 4% down, right? So we're at 0.3% as of June. Obviously between June and September, there have been successive increases in the interest rates and the mortgage rates in the UK. So I think once that's factored into the statistics, the decline year on year in the UK property market is gonna go down, but there's not gonna be a UK property crash in 2023 by the time we get to December. So now that you're seeing the statistics right in front of you, I think we can well and truly put that argument, if it ever was one to bed, as to whether or will the UK property market crash in 2023. So guys, let's have a look at the UK housing market update from right move for September 2023. So as you can see here, there's been a 1.9% drop in the summer in the UK housing market. This is the 
biggest fall in August since 2018, wow. And to be fair, I think a lot of that has to do with the cost of living issues that we're facing in this country at the moment. It also mentions people being preoccupied by holidays, which is fair. And of course, the highest base rate since 2008. So we are at a peak in terms of base rates when we look across the last 15 years. So all of that is factored into a large drop in August. But interestingly, as you scroll down, you can see that the average five-year fixed mortgage rate is now 5.81%, falling from 6.08% just three weeks ago. This is a sign of interest rates and mortgage rates beginning to finally fall in the UK. In terms of the annual change, so for the last year between August 2022 and now, we're down just 0.1%. So again, guys, no signs of a property market crash. And if we look at some of the commentary, we can see that, you know, in August, there's a traditional summer slowdown. You know, people are going on holiday, the kids are off, people are more focused on just being out and about rather than moving. And I think a big component of that also, as it says here, is that agents are beginning to reduce the prices of the properties that they have in the market to make it more competitive in the midst of a interest rate hike when you compare it to what they were a year ago people basically cannot afford houses at the same level now compared to what they could a year two years ago when interest rates were closer to two three percent you're paying double triple the amount of mortgage so people are like i'm not going to offer or if i do I'm offering below what this property is listed for, what it might actually be worth. And I think that agents and sellers collectively after the last year come to the realization that look, as much as I wanna get X price for my property, in this current climate, I'm not gonna achieve that. So prices are slowly coming down to a more realistic, achievable level. And I know it's saying that affordability is improved, House prices in the UK, especially in the South and London, are still not affordable, despite this drop of 1.9% in the space of a month. Affordability is still a big issue. So I wouldn't start celebrating just yet and saying that the affordability issue in the UK has been solved. Far from it, guys. And we haven't looked at the regional difference in house prices for a while in the UK. If we have a look at UK house prices by region, you can see that every single region has decreased on the previous month with the exception of the Northeast. I'm actually quite happy about that because I am in the middle of buying a property in the Northeast in Hull. But this is telling us nothing that we don't already know. Nationally, house prices are depressed as a result of what's been happening with interest rates, with mortgage rates, with the cost of living and prices and affordability on top of that. So what's gonna happen in the UK property market for the rest of 2023 and into 2024? Let's start talking about interest rates and whether interest rates are beginning to fall. Because I think that's what everyone is really interested in. That's really what's hitting our pockets in the immediate term, especially when you put it alongside the cost of living crisis that's happening in the UK. So let's put this into context from a historical perspective. The last 15 years of interest rates, low interest rates that we've been enjoying have been abnormally low when you compare them over the long-term history of interest rates in the UK and globally, to be fair. Why is that? It's because of the 2008 global crash. Some of you might be too young to remember that, but most of you will remember the 2008 global economic and housing market crash. Long story short, what governments across the world tried to do for the next 15 years is to lower interest rates, to leave more money in people and businesses' pockets to stimulate the economy. And one of the byproducts of that is that you had low interest rates. I'm talking one, two percent for a good decade plus in the UK and in other countries. Now we're seeing interest rates go up to five, six percent. And when you look on screen right now and you see the long term history of interest rates in the UK, 5% and 6% is not abnormal, guys. Granted, during those times when interest rates were 5%, 6% and above, there wasn't flat wage growth that we've seen over the last 15 months. The economy was more productive. There wasn't a cost of living crisis. There was more affordability of house prices, of utilities, of food and goods. It was a different climate. But guys, the interest rates at the levels that we've seen today are not abnormal historically. So guys, it's looking like interest rates are starting to settle after 14 straight rises by the Bank of England. And we can see this playing out in the latest 
UK housing market stats. So guys, let's summarize, right? So will the UK property market crash in 2023? No, it hasn't, it will not. I think we're gonna see a decline by the time we get to December of around about three to 4%. Click this, quote me now, I'm putting my neck out there. I put my neck out last time to say that there won't be a crash. So I'm confident that I'm gonna be right again, unless, you know, aliens invade Earth and something really left field happens in the next six months. Interest rates are beginning to fall in the UK as well. So I think as we get towards the end of this year, but more so next year, 2024, in the UK housing market, the activity and prices are gonna to start to slowly creep up again. I'm not saying there's gonna be a boom, but we've had depressed prices and activity for the last 12 months. People have been really just tentative and scared to buy a house and put their property on the market because they've seen interest rates doing that. Buyers are like, well, look, if I buy a house now, interest rates were like one, two, three percent 12 months ago. I can't afford a new mortgage at five, six percent. So people aren't buying. People don't want to put their properties on the market right now whilst prices are falling because they can't get the best price. So all in all, it's a depressed market, but I think that's gonna change as we see interest rates go down. And basically once we're done with this year, new year, new outlook and all that good stuff. Let me know what you think is gonna happen in the comment section below. Really keen to hear your thoughts and views, guys. Thanks as always for supporting this channel. Please do follow and engage, guys, engage. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Share this video with people that you think might be interested because that's how channels grow. And I'll see you on the next one.